Welcome back. Your time now is 619. And joining us once again this morning, Dave Anderson with MoneyWise Wealth Management to talk about what we're seeing, especially as we end out this crazy year of 2020. Dave, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. First, I want to talk about those stimulus checks. They have started going out despite the delay and the worries that it wasn't going to happen when we were talking last week. And though it appears unlikely now that they're going to be increased to $2,000 like the president and Democrats want, most Americans are about to get an unexpected chunk of change. How much do you think this will help the economy? And do you have any recommendations about what people should do with this money? Yeah, so I I think it's going to help the economy. I think it's it's too small, but it's going to help the economy. I mean, you can just imagine these people have been, many, many people have been out of work for, for months now, just barely scraping along. So a stimulus check of $600 certainly isn't going to change everything for the better, but it's going to help. The reason why it will help the economy is because people need that money so desperately, they're going to spend it immediately. And that money gets recycled back into the economy, and that certainly helps things. In terms of what you should do with the money, you know, a lot of people don't have many choices right now. I mean, they know already before they even receive the stimulus check where that money is going to go. So if you if you have expenses that need to be paid, you know, use it, use that money wisely because we don't know when the next payment's going to be coming. And that's my next question: How likely that we'll see another stimulus check in the new year? You know, I, th I think it's fairly likely, um, but what it will look like, how big it will be, we just don't know. I mean, I was shocked that it took them this long to get the second stimulus. So, you know, I, I remain optimistic, but, you know, the reality is we don't know for sure whether or even when uh, we'll get another one. Weekly first-time jobless claims were just released this morning, and they totaled 787,000 versus the 828,000 expected. It's also a little lower than we saw last week. What do these numbers tell you? Well, don't get too excited about the numbers being a little bit lower. From week to week, the numbers tend to be more volatile. You want to look at an overall trend, and the overall trend is still really, really bad. In addition to the 787,000 first-time claimants, remember, we had over 300,000 that claimed unemployment through these special unemployment pro programs through the CARES Act. So that brings the total over a million. And then we still have over 5 million people that are continuing to claim unemployment. So it's still really tough out there. I mean, it's great that it was slightly lower than the estimates, but but in the rea in reality, it's still really, really bad, and these numbers show that. Hey, the New Year is always a time for New Year's resolutions. We know that, and a lot of people make financial resolutions. What's the number one thing that people can do to get financially healthy in the New Year? Yeah, that's a great question. And what I would tell people is let's learn from the past. Let's learn what happened this year. If you were prepared for some unexpected expenses, you put a lot of money aside, well, you learned this year how valuable that is. And alternatively, if you didn't do that, you learn how much that, that hurt you. So what I would tell people out there is prepare for the unexpected this year. It will probably, a lot of surprises are probably going to happen. So any money that you can squirrel away for emergencies and unexpected events is really going to help you. So more than anything, save cash, have it ready just in case you're having to face some sort of financial emergency. All right, Dave Anderson with MoneyWise Wealth Management. Thanks for being with us this morning and Happy New Year, sir. We appreciate it. You bet. Happy New Year to you.